Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can tell, is going to be my August favorites. But before I get into that, I just want to tell you guys that the reason why I did not get a video up last weekend was because I'm still trying to figure out like when a good time is to film. I did start another semester of college and I believe I'm going on to my fourth week and it's just, you know, now I'm getting a bunch of projects projects and essays and stuff and I'm just trying to see when is the right time to film like I said so um but yeah that is my excuse or whatever um but yeah I was kind of like eh because I didn't get a video up but I'm sure you guys understand but I don't want you guys to seem like oh she's just making up excuses and stuff no you know this is real life I go to college and so you know, school is my number one priority, and then there's YouTube. I know that's probably like, oh, well, that sucks, but it is the truth. So, yeah, I'm going to stop talking, and I'm just going to get into my August favorites. My first favorite for the month of August is this planner. Um, I got this planner from Target. I believe it was about five bucks or so. Um, not only is it super cute with the gray and white chevron, but I think it's really good because not only can I use this for 2014, I can use this for 2015 as well. I use this not only for school, but I do use this for YouTube whenever I get video ideas or just, you know, you need to film this day, just do it. Um, so yeah, I have already used it a bunch. The month of July and August were completely filled up. Um, so yeah, I think it's super, super useful to have a planner when starting school. So, that is my first thing. My next favorite for the month of August is my Neutrogena Deep Clean Facial Cleanser. This is good for normal to oily skin. What I really like about this is that I feel like it really does get deep down into my pores and really cleans my face. However, one downside about this is that I don't think that you could use this for the morning and night because that's what I was doing at first when I was using this product but I think that my skin was getting too used to it that I just started breaking out all over again which was kind of a downside so now I use this for the nighttime just because it does get my skin extra clean because of like all the like the wind outside and when I wear makeup and stuff so I really like to use this just for nighttime now. My next favorite is a Lush product. I have never talked about this product before. Um, I'm actually quite surprised because this is my second time having it. Um, this is a facial bar cleanser, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this one is called face. I don't know if you guys will see that, but this bar is a black exfoliating bar dream for your blackheads. I'm not even kidding you. If you have black blackheads, yeah, if you have blackheads, if you have blackheads, this bar is really going to pull the impurities out of your skin, which I really, really like. The one problem that I have with my skin is that not only is it oily, but I have blackheads like no other, especially in my chin area. I really, really like this because it does work for my oily skin. When I went to Lush, I described to the girl what kind of skin that I had and what my problem areas were, and she highly recommended this bar for me. I'm super happy that I went and purchased this because it's just amazing. I don't know why I stopped using this and started using Neutrogena deep clean deep clean facial cleanser um, when I had this just sitting there on my dresser waiting to be used so what I do with this is I use this in the morning to really wake up my skin and to really purify it and then at night I go in with this guy so these two together I think have made my face really really clean and more clear so this pair is just a dream team. My next favorite for the month of August is a candle and yes you guessed it it is a Bath and Body Works candle. This candle is in turquoise water and what I really liked about this candle is not only the scent but the color of I guess you can say the packaging. Um, when I saw these in Bath and Body Works I was like oh my gosh I need to like see what these are all about 
and the scents of the colored packaging ones are like really like all of them have like a kind of clean scent to them this turquoise water one I'm not even kidding you I always say this but it does smell like like clean um, the little scent description on the bottom says it's a sure thing that this blend of sea spray, sunlight, and beach grass will transport you to the, to the Pacific Ocean's turquoise waters. I just, when I smelled this, lit up in my room, I was just like, oh my gosh, it really does smell so, so good. Um, and as you can see, it's like, it's completely gone. And I need to go back and see if they have these, which I doubt that they have any more of these so yeah turquoise waters from bath and body works go purchase it it smells amazing my next favorite for the month of august is kind of a nail hardener um it is by crystal nail and it says builder nail repair solution with mega nail vitamins i am in love with this stuff i will never go back to another nail hardener i'm not even kidding you this nail hardener has made my nails so so strong and so like perfect like excuse my nails now um because I need to cut my cuticles but my nails have never looked like this my nails have never ever grown this long you know to some of you this may not be long but for me this is like long for my natural nail because I am so used to having acrylics and stuff or gel nail polish and I believe this is the first time in a while where I'm actually letting my natural nails just be free. Um, I did get this from Sally's and this was about $6.99. This is a lot for a nail polish type of thing, but I'm not even kidding you, it is totally worth it. Um, the kind of yellow tint in it, it does kind of show up on your nails, but to me it doesn't even bug me. You can put a nail polish on top of it, but... I just I kind of like the glossy look by itself right now um, but yeah I really really do like this guy and it dries really fast so that's a plus. My last three favorites are makeup items. The first one is a NYX butter gloss. Yes, hello. Um, this one is in meringue. This one is super super bright and I wore this a couple of times in pictures. Um, that I've posted on Tumblr and I've gotten a lot of questions about what kind of color or you know what product it is and it is this um, it's super super pretty super pigmented um, what I really like about the butter glosses is that they are pigmented and the packaging is pretty true to what comes out of the tubing so yes I really like it and the smell you know you can never say no to the smell of butter gloss my next favorite is an eyeshadow from Milani. I believe these are new. I don't know, but they're new to me because I barely started seeing them in my drugstore. And it is the Milani Bella Cappuccino Satin Matte Eyeshadow. Just looks like this. I have used this, I believe, in one of my Get Ready With Me, but I could be wrong. You're probably not even going to be able to see it on my skin because it is the perfect... I guess transition shade I don't even think you'll be able to see that um, but this is what it looks like on my finger and I've used this one actually quite a bit um, the dent in the middle of it is just it's getting lower and lower and lower so yeah I really like the pigmentation of these this is my first one but I have um, kind of swatched and messed around with the other shades and I do plan on buying a lot more my last favorite for the month of August is probably my most recent purchase that I am just so happy about. Um, it is the Lorac Pro Pocket Palette. Um, a lot of peas there. <laughs> um, I am so, so happy with this palette because you get the, the perfect shades with this. This is my first Lorac kind of product, I guess you can say. And I just, I love all three shades. Um, today I used one of them on my eye look and it is nude. I just used it in the inner corner to kind of brighten up the eye. Um, and the three shades you get are nude, pewter, and espresso. Espresso I have not yet used 
because I'm not even kidding you, I'm kind of scared to use it because look how pigmented those three shadows are. These are full sized, um, I guess, shadows that you get in this guy. And I'm just, I'm super, super excited about this. I believe this was $15 at Ulta. I could be wrong. I will put the price down below. I believe it was $15, but I did get it for a discounted price price because I got it for 20% off. So yes, I I love this guy. I do plan on getting the Laura Pro and Pro 2 palette, but I just wanted to try this out just to see how much I liked the palette and like the shades and stuff. And I couldn't be more happy with um with the colors and the pigmentation and the shadows. I'm not even kidding you, are so so creamy and buttery. Like I love this palette so much. Um, so, yeah. so that is it for my August favorites. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel if you are new. Um, I have nothing else to say and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, which should be up right after this one. So don't forget to watch that and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.